Today I'm going to show you with a few simple steps how to take flat images and give them a little pop off the page. Something as simple as a line element, you can use this technique to make it pop off the page and look, make it look 3D. So here we're going to go over to my uploads and I am going to grab this image right here. It's got a white background so I'm going to go ahead and remove that. So the first thing I want to do is go into edit. I'm going to go into my shadows and I'm going to add a drop shadow. I think the distance on this one is okay. So, but I'm going to take the intensity down just a little bit around 39. And then what I want to do is duplicate it. I want to go to angle now and I want to co get that angle going in the reverse way. So I want to take the number down to in about 33, somewhere between 30 and 35. Then I'm going to line it on top of the one that I just did. Then what I'm going to do is I'm going to duplicate it again. I'm going to go down here and change my shadow color to white. Now the first two shadows were black just in case it gives you another shadow. You want the first two to be bl uh, black and the last one to be white. And then you want to take that distance and pull it in close. So we're going to put that in about 15. And then we're going to line that up on top here. And as you can see, it gives that little edge right there, doing that white like that. And we're going to line them up on top. But before I get too much to lining them up on top, I'm going to take the first one off. And I am going to take the second one that's lined up on top. And I'm going to make these bigger just so I can make sure. Because you know when we use the new shadow feature, it adjusts the sizes and all kinds of stuff. So I want them kind of on top of each other to start. And then what I want to do is I'm going to click off. I'm going to click on. I'm going to use my arrow keys and I'm going to go over one, two, three to the right. And I'm thinking, no, let's just do two because I can, because of his cat ears. So let's do two and then maybe down one. And then what I want to do now is put my top one over top of the last one that I just did and do the same thing. So I'm going to line him up like that. And then I am going to check very closely to put him over. And then I am going to do the same thing. I'm going to click out, click in. And I'm just going to give him two little taps to the side. Then once I have my taps done, what I want to do is I want to go into position. I want to grab the very one that's closest to the background. And I'm going to go into edit. I'm going to go into blur. And I'm going to take that intensity up to about 45, between 40 and 50. And then I'm going to take that out. So what it's going to do is start smoothing those lines out. And then you can go back into position. We're going to grab the middle one. I'm going to go to edit. And then I'm going to go into blur again. And I'm just going to give it a little bit and about 15 to 20. And then I'm going to take that out. Now, as you see, let's put it back low. You can see him popping off the page. Now we'll go get the original. So you can see the difference in the original. I'm going to remove the background and take that white. So you can see the difference in the original. Now, a little bonus tip if you want to make stickers. What I'm going to do is I'm going to take this original that I have here. I'm going to go into edit. I'm going to go into shadows. I'm going to outline. I'm going to change this to white. And then I'm going to make the size about 50. I might want to make it bigger, but we're going to start off at 50. I'm going to line them up over top. I'm going to change my background color so we can see. Let's put it into this blue. And then I'm going to align him up over top of the other one. And I might want to thicken it up. You might want to thicken it up. And then I'm going to take the position and put him all the way down at the bottom. And then I'm going to keep lining him up. Oops, I'm grabbing the wrong one. Let's grab the right one. And then you're going to grab the white one and kind of line, line him up over top like that. And that makes a cool, like, a popping out. I think I want that. Uh, let's go grab that one and... Go back into shadows and kind of uh, give that size a little bit bigger. 
There we go. And there you go. Now you have a sticker where it looks like the image is popping off. So that's just one of the cool things you can do with shadows and a little bit of blur. You can take that static image like we had. It looks like this. Let's remove the background and turn them into this. So you go from this to that. And that's just a cool little trick I wanted to show you guys. I hope you like it. My name's Michelle. Thank you for stopping by, and I hope to see you on the next one. Bye, y'all.